to the sun by jody shepherd chapter 1 where is the sun yawn leela loves science but she feels so sleepy she looks out the window it's cloudy and raining for the third day in a row where is the sun without the sun there would be no life on earth says her teacher mr holt it gives us light heat and energy no wonder everyone looks so tired leela thinks no sun no energy the sun is one of billions of stars in our galaxy even though it is an average sized star more than 1.3 million earths would fit inside it the sun is the closest star to earth mr holt continues but it is still pretty far away a jet plane would take about 20 years to fly there no way thinks leela i bet i could get there faster and i could bring home enough sunshine to give everybody energy a sunbeam shines on leela's shoulder the ground begins to shake and just like that whoosh she's off on a supersonic spacecraft the sun is 93 million miles 150 million kilometers from earth chapter 2 circling the sun on her way to the sun leela zooms past the planets venus and mercury she turns on the spacecraft's talking computer it sounds a lot like mr holt the sun is a yellow star that means it's a medium hot star the computer tells leela as the spacecraft approaches the sun blue stars are hottest red stars are coolest but even the coolest star is very hot the temperature of the sun's core is about 27 million degree fahrenheit or 15 million degree centigrade leela looks at the sun's surface it's not solid like earth's oh no cries leela there's no way to land she'll have to explore the sun by orbiting it earth and the solar system other planets orbit or travel around the sun the sun's gravity keeps the planets from floating away oh trouble things are getting really bright and really hot even inside the spacecraft too hot leela shouts it's a good thing we are not usually this close to the sun leela needs sunshine to wake up her class but not this much of it she had better do something fast the ancient greeks believed that their sun god apollo pulled the sun across the sky every day in his chariot chapter 3 watch out just in time leela finds a pair of super thick sunglasses and a special heat proof outfit what makes the sun so hot she wonders out loud the sun is mostly made of hydrogen and it is always burning the computer says it's like explosion after explosion for billions of years the sun has many layers the center called the core is the sphere it takes only about 8 minutes for that heat to travel from the sun to earth the computer adds that's a long way to go in such a short time says leela but no life could survive on earth without it that's what mr holt told us without the sun there would be no night and no day the computer tells leela no winter spring summer or fall leela replies and no food to eat yikes Suddenly there is a bright burst from the sun. Whoa, danger. 
danger, warns the computer. Temperature rising fast. Here comes another burst, yells Leela. This spacecraft is filled top to bottom with sunlight. Let's get this baby home. Solar flares are eruptions on the sun. That release huge amounts of energy and heat into space. Chapter 4 The Sun Returns Look! The sun is out. Leela hears a classmate shout. Leela stops daydreaming. There are sunbeams everywhere I did it. She shouts. She tells her class all about her adventure. We can't live on the sun, she says. But we sure can't live without it. That is so cool, says Max. As Mr. Holt tells the class to line up for recess. You mean, so hot, answers Leela, giggling. Full of energy, she and her friends run outside to play in the warm sunshine. The End Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.